This issue has been in my chat for a while now. You're in a game, PMC is rushing up on you, you swing, and then you get intermittent stutters while you're shooting, causing you to miss and eventually die. I may have found at least part of the cause. There's probably other parts to it, but I was surprised to see that this might be the issue. Let's talk about it for a second. At first, I thought this was a simple AMD driver issue, a skill issue for those who bought AMD GPUs, but in fact, I've had some people with Nvidia GPUs come to me expressing that they're having the same issue. And I thought this was pretty interesting, and I really couldn't nail down anything between all these sim uh, symptoms systems that was related. So I was very confused as to why this could be the case. In a seemingly unrelated post, one of the people in my amazing Discord, which is linked below, showed me memory compression and disabling it. They suggested that I should check it out because it might make for an interesting video. Today, just on a whim, I decided to go and just check it out. Hop in a raid, scab into streets in the most densely populated area that I could, and just see what happens. I went in there and the results were Pretty insane. I'll tell you my theory though before I start talking, I'm thinking that some people may have disabled memory compression as a tweak within, say, Windows from some other YouTubers and didn't realize they did that. And then on top of it, they ran automatic RAM cleaner in game and that caused massive stuttering issues within the game. But I'll show you guys that when we get into the game. And also, this may not be a fix for all of you. I just know there's a lot of you who have watched other people's content and may have applied this tweak to help in other games and not realize that it's causing issues with an escape from Tarkov. But before we actually get into the raid, I want to show you guys how to actually enable and disable this. So firstly, if you want to figure out if this is on or not, you're going to need to launch the Windows PowerShell. So you can go over here, you can type in PowerShell, it's the easiest way to figure it out, and just run it as an admin right here. And then once you have this up, you're gonna to wanna to type git mm agent. And this right here will tell you all the information you need to know and the setting that you need to figure out is memory compression right here. If you've been experiencing a lot of stutter in Tarkov and you have this set to false, this could be the cause right here, especially if you run with automatic RAM cleaner enabled. To re-enable memory compression, if you realize that you've had it disabled, you're gonna to wanna to type enable dash mm agent and then space dash MC. And this should re-enable memory compression. If you, for some reason, want to test with it disabled as well, you can do the same thing and then type just disable, if I could type, into this window instead. Also, as an important warning, you need to restart your computer before you can enable or disable. So what I mean by that is if you type, say, enable, and you enable memory compression, you will have to then restart your computer in order for it to take effect. The same with the disable. So if you disable it, you have to then go and restart your computer in order for memory compression to be disabled. Again, my recommendation is for it to be enabled, but I'm just letting you know that's how you do it. Anyway, back to it. Right now it's disabled for me, so I want to show you guys the effects of that that I saw within a raid. We're going to scav into a live streets raid, and I'll try to show you what I was noticing. When I load in, I will have automatic RAM cleaner disabled when I get in, but we'll enable it as I discuss what's going on. Okay, surely nobody sees me in here. So the main thing that I wanna show you guys is the stutter that happens sometimes when I'm shooting with this disabled. You can see right now on the top, I'm obviously maxing out my VRM usage and uh, my RAM is at like 22 gigabytes of allocation, which is pretty insane. The more insane thing, however, is what happens when I decide to turn on automatic RAM cleaner. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So when I go in here and enable automatic RAM cleaner, obviously there will, there will be the stutter, if I could speak, and that RAM usage will dramatically decrease. It's even quicker than what I'd normally see it. You can see we got down to about eight gigabytes, but it started shooting up as stuff was going on around the world. Now what I'm going to do, if you can even still hear me, is I'm going to, thanks guys, thank you. Well, you can tell I'm not lying. Holy shit. We're gonna start running and I want you guys to keep and pay attention to the frame times as I'm running around. As I get to different areas of the map, this should start to stutter pretty hard. And just to make sure, I'm going to hit automatic ram cleaner again. To be clear, this is not behavior and fuck this headset. Um, but to be clear, this is not behavior that I would normally see when I'm using automatic ram cleaner without memory compression. Do you see that? Do you see all those stutters right there? I have a feeling this is what a lot of people are seeing because they've done a lot of tweaks and aren't realizing that it's related to memory compression. So we're going to head down here. And the biggest thing is, I can only recreate this sometimes, but 
Oof, man, this is actually, this is even worse than I thought when I'm recording as well. But I'm gonna try shooting for just a little bit and see if I can recreate any of those stutters. Even though it's it's still stuttering as I'm walking around here. There it is, you saw that? That was directly related to me shooting right there. I'll try it again, but it may not happen again. Okay, there it didn't happen. It's very occasional. I notice that it happens more so when I'm shooting more automatic weapons, though, of course, I'd have to do a lot more testing. I, I literally saw this this morning and I was like, I need to make a video on this ASAP so that people are able to to change this if this is the reason they're stuttering. So I'm just trying to run around and, and uh, cause as much streaming in of textures as I can. But yeah, this frame time is crazy. And I've seen this tweak pop up a decent bit. Of, holy shit, you scared the fuck out of me. I've seen this tweak come up a lot in other videos. Uh, you know, there's videos on YouTube that have like a million views discussing this. So I figured that if any of you are chronic tweakers like myself, you probably have used this before and uh, figured I'd try to lend a helping hand with this. And also to just confirm, I will go down to DLSS balanced just to help you guys see that it's not directly related to the VRAM consumption. I'll run, our, I'll run around a little bit more too. Yeah, I'm obviously going to a less denser part of the map now as well, but Still occasionally those frame times are popping up in ways that I was not seeing without memory or with memory compression. This just goes to show you that sometimes some of the tweaks are not uh, all that they seem and it may be worth it to test one at a time. A lot of those videos bundle a lot of tweaks together and that can cause issues if you don't try and test midway through to make sure nothing's messing up. But to recap, as I'm just walking through here, just a couple things to note. If you have previously set this to disabled, and it is disabled within that menu that I showed at the beginning of the video, I'll have it timestamped, then please do re-enable it and see if it fixes your stutters. I know this won't be a fix for everybody, but I know there's at least somebody out there who probably has done this, and this is the cause of their stutter. I'm continuing to look into reasons as to why the stutters are appearing while shooting. I have some theories. But I'm going to need some more time to look into those theories before I actually share those on the channel. If you have an AMD GPU and have been experiencing those stutters, or even an NVIDIA GPU, please do let me know in my Discord. It will be linked below. I really want to know your opinion on it and what's going on so I can get a better idea of what's going on to share to the rest of the community. So I appreciate all your support on everything, really. The videos, the streams, it's been, uh, it's been crazy, guys. But um, I appreciate your support. And I will see you guys a bit later than usual for this stream. But normally I do stream on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. CST and at Sunday at 1.30 p.m. CST for my PC Sherpa Live series. But the Friday stream may be a bit delayed this week, so keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, guys, make sure you join the Discord. Hit the usual YouTube buttons, like, subscribe. You know the whole thing. I appreciate all of you for 6K subscribers and 1,000 members in the Discord. Strong. Let's go. And I will... Uh, See you guys in the next one. This will be Clem. Stuttering out. Later.